Just before dawn, a greyhound bus wheels into a gas station at Plattsburgh, NY. In the misty darkness, taxis circle, knowing they'll get fares. The passengers who are struggling off the bus, sleepy from the overnight ride from New York City, are eager to get to the border with Quebec 45 kilometers away. A couple of kids pull thin blue blankets around them to ward off the early morning chill. This group of Nigerians about 12 of them have made their way to the start of Plattsview's pipeline to Canada. It's a one-way route out of the U.S. At an unofficial border crossing that the Canadian government can't seem to plug. It is the busiest crossing in Canada and growing still. In August, despite government efforts to staunch the flow, immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada says that 5,530 more asylum seekers entered Quebec near Plattsburgh, nearly double those in July and bringing the total in 2017 to 11,896. As Aisha climbs out of the taxi van, she is distraught. Please, we need a home, our children need to go to school. The single mother with four kids traveled from Philadelphia to Manhattan. She then spent six hours on the bus to upstate New York and another 30 minutes by taxi to the dead-end road at the border. Steps away is Canada. She's almost crying as she blurts out her story, almost a year in the United States, no legal papers, her last landlord told her to move on, she's had to beg for money. She says we've been hearing about this pipeline and she's determined to get into Canada to apply for refugee status. I left Nigeria with frustration. In Africa, they want them to go to Arabic school. At a tender age, they will give them to a man. I don't want that to happen. When asked whether she believes she'll be able to stay in Canada, she says defiantly, I can work, I'm an African woman. If I see a job, I will do it. I want a better life for my children. In August, as the numbers swelled at this crossing near La Cole, Quebec, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau launched an offensive to tamp down expectations, stamp out myths and plug the flow of asylum seekers flooding into Canada. Many then were Haitians. The federal government even sent an MP to Miami to persuade those in the Haitian community not to come north. But this month, flights from Florida to Plattsburgh are still arriving, bringing asylum seekers. The numbers are nudging down, say the taxi drivers, have you seen a healthy uptick in business. But a steady stream of migrants from other communities are hearing about the crossing and betting their futures on it. Under the safe third country agreement between the U.S. and Canada, an asylum seeker must appeal for refugee status in the first country of arrival. In these cases, that would be the U.S., but there is an exception if a migrant crosses into another country, Canada, at a place other than an official border crossing. That allows for the bizarre and dramatic scene playing out every day at the dead end of Roxham Road north of Plattsburgh. The RCMP has been forced to staff a temporary satellite detachment with four teams monitoring the crossing 24-7. They've set up large white winterized tents, a trailer and equipment for processing migrants.